By far one of the most important things to being an Australian is eating the Aussie burger. I think every single Aussie has eaten it at least once in their life and it's so iconic. Pretty much it's got beetroot, pineapple, egg, bacon. Ooh, we're using beef bacon to keep it halal, you know? But yeah, it's known all over the country and he's a protected species. Similar to if you were to insult Steve Irwin or a kangaroo itself, you're gonna cop it if you don't show this amazing burger the respect and love it deserves. So today I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way to do it using ingredients that you can buy at the supermarket or that you've got in your pantry. It's gonna take us no time at all and you're gonna be able to enjoy this amazing burger from your home, whether you live in Australia or if you're overseas and you wanna have a crack at it. So let's get into it. Now a bit controversial, but we're gonna use these seeded ready buns. If you've seen my content before, you know I hate these buns. I feel like they fall apart, they're flaky, and they just don't have any structure or integrity like the milk buns that I usually use to. But to pay homage to this burger, this is what we're gonna use. So as much as I don't agree with these buns, I feel like it'd be criminal to use any other bun on the Aussie burger besides this one. Next up is the bacon, but we're using beef bacon because we're keeping it halal. Use whatever you feel like, but as long as there's some kind of alternate meat on there, I think it should be fine. Next up, we're using barbecue sauce. I do not like barbecue sauce. I'm more of a tomato sauce guy, but when I posted this video the last time on my Instagram and TikTok, I got slammed. Everyone's like, oh, you should have barbecue sauce, have barbecue sauce. So I, I caved, you know. I got canceled pretty much, bro. Next up are your pineapple and your fruit. Your pineapple and your beetroot. So these may seem like weird additions to a burger, and I agree, I'm not really a pineapple fan, whether it's on pizza or burgers, but obviously we're gonna do it for the video. But beetroot, as unconventional as it sounds, is pretty good. The texture and the sweet nature of it works very well with the beef. I don't know, it just works out. And make sure you use Golden Circle as the brand as well, because for my other video, I use Dole, which is a Hawaiian brand, and everyone's like, oh, you can't support Hawaiian brands, support Aussie brands. Yeah. We got our stock standard lettuce, tomato and onion. We're going to caramelize the onion a bit. It's more so a grilling on a high heat, which will take a shorter amount of time. Very simple as always. And finally, we have our egg. Now this might be one of the most important parts of this burger. To give people a third reason to cry in the comments, I actually forgot the egg on my Aussie burger video that I did. It racked up, I think, 5 million views across all my platform. And I'd say over half of the comments were like, you forgot the egg, you forgot the egg. And you will not believe how passionate people got. I was getting abused, called names, it was insane. And seeing how I just got abused for three different reasons for this Aussie burger. Just illustrates how close and dear Aussies hold this burger to their heart. All right, now let's get into it. All right, so our lettuce is already prepared in leaves. You can go iceberg and chop it up, but I feel like leaves have a nice aesthetic to them. So I just ripped these off the bunch. Now for our tomatoes. Once again, I'm butchering my tomato slices with very chunky and uneven slices. Why not? And for our onion, we're going to go for a very rough slice. And like I said, you don't want these to be too thick or too thin. Just enough so that when we put them on a high heat, they'll loosen up and get some colour. Now you will not believe what I found when I was packing up the other day. So, in one swipe, or well, almost. So that's all of our chopping done, and for convenience's sake, we're going to remove the pineapple and beetroot from the cans. Make sure you don't cut yourself in the mid. Put them on the side so that when it's time to assemble, it's just a pick and put on. But yeah, that's all we need. There you go. Yeah, good job. Now these are a bit thick. At the truck we use pineapple thins, which are probably half the size and a bit wider. But oh well. Now it's time to start up the barbie. Quick cha time break while this grill heats up. They've turned all the cups into paper. Honestly, at this point, I'm sure the turtles wouldn't mind keeping the cups plastic. Instead of making us deal with this abomination. And so now we've got to be strategic with the way we start grilling things. So we've got buns, onions, bacon, egg, pineapple, and patties. And so we've got to make sure they're in the right order so that each remains proportionately fresh and so that the cooking of one thing doesn't get in the way of another. So now straight away, I'm going to start caramelizing our onions because those take the longest. Cameraman came in clutch. And but I'm just going to add a bit of butter. I'm not measuring this. Eyeball it. Go with whatever you want. 
be able to sturdy my hands. And like I said, the main thing is we want to grill these hot and fast just so they get a bit of colour and loosen up a bit. And then what we can do is move into the side of the grill and the residual heat or the convectional heat, whatever it is, I'm not a science guy, will allow them to remain cooking while we cook our other stuff. I think residual is the right word. No, that's remaining. Anyway, you, you know what it is. So now I'm going to crank the temperature because now that they're loosened up, I want to get some really dark elements on those onions. And then we're going to start cooking the bacon. And every single time I start cooking with beef, bacon or ashes, I get comments from kids on my TikTok. Oh, but it's not halal. Even though I make like 10 instances to comment that it's not actual pork and that it's beef bacon. Everyone's like, oh it's my god, it's not halal, it's not halal. Whatever. I, I used to get upset, but then I realized they're just kids, you know. Move it to the side. Now these are from a packet which you can find sometimes at your local supermarket. And I have made my own, so I'll try and get a recipe out there for you guys. However, if you are impatient, I do have a short form video on my TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube about how to make beef bacon. And it's actually very good. And so now in the residual butter and beef bacon fat, we're gonna toast our buns. Now this may seem obvious, but the trick to getting perfectly sliced buns is long, even strokes on the downward. So stroke down, stroke down, stroke down. Voila. While the buns toast, we're gonna to chuck on our pineapples. Because like the onions, we can keep these warm on the side while the rest of them cook. All right, so now I've got a decent toast on these buns. And after this, we're gonna smash our patty and then get into our egg. I recommend cooking the egg last because that's gonna taste the best, freshest, and the worst, least freshest. And it's just gonna be overall harder to clean the grill after you cook an egg. There you go. So now the traditional way to make an Aussie burger is have some beef mince, put in some breadcrumbs, some eggs, some parsley, some seasonings, anything else. But that doesn't work for a smash patty and as nice as that burger may be, I've still got to stay loyal to the smash patty. Hold for five seconds. Twist, twist, twist. And pull. How easy is that? Season with a bit of salt, then you flip. Hit it with some American cheese. Now we stack these up and put them to the side. So now for your egg, you want a decent sized egg ring. And the trick to not get it stuck on the bottom or the sides is to really spray it with some spray oil. And this oil is gonna fill up all the holes and make sure that no egg seeps through. Now this is what years of breakfast chips at Macca's taught me. Yeah, you like that? Then you want to give it a light stir around. And once the egg is cooked, you can remove the egg ring. So just make sure all the sides of the egg are cooked so the egg doesn't run everywhere. And then you can remove your egg ring and then flip. So now the grill is off and I'm letting everything just sit here because now it's time to assemble our burger. And so now our assembly for this is going to be pretty straightforward, but there is a particular order to it. So it looks the nicest and holds up the best. I like to go with a bit of sauce on the top and bottom. So then we go our lettuce or slice of tomato. And then we'll go for our beef patties, a bit of caramelized onions, our egg, go with a few slices of beetroot, our beautiful golden pineapple, and then our crispy beef bacon. Crown it. And there you go. And now here we are, and having eaten this burger around 4 million times in my life, I already know how it's gonna taste, and I want it to taste that way, because that's the special thing about this. Every time I eat this burger, it may not be the fanciest, or the tastiest, or the most technical, but what makes it good is the way it makes you feel. It is probably by far the biggest, most overwhelming feeling for your mouth. All these different textures and flavors and... Oh, it's just insane. And there you have it guys, the Aussie burger in its most iconic form. Or well, sort of, because I remixed it, but anyway. It's beautiful like this. So what I want you to do is drop a like, subscribe, leave a comment below what you want to see me make next, and enjoy.